Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome to this Postbag XXL Christmas Special. So before I get started with the heap of postbags that is below the Christmas hood, I want to wish you all the best for 2021 and I'm hoping you'll have a very, very Merry Christmas. Uh, stay safe because it's a strange world at the moment uh, as you all uh, might know and might have experienced. Let's get started. We've got a total of well, 10, I think, post bags that we need to open. So we've got a lot to cover in one video. So therefore I think uh, I'm going to split it up. And if schedule allows me to, I will release the next video tomorrow. But only if schedule allows me to. Please, if you like these kinds of postback videos, feel free to uh, subscribe, like and hit the notification bell. And then you will always uh, get the newest updates uh, on my videos. So, yeah, what, which one should I open first? Well, I think I'll go for this one. I think that this one is the most interesting one. It says switching power supply, four pieces, value of $4.30. And, um, and I know that this does not only oh well, contain switching power supplies. This is the first time it ever happened to me, but this uh, package was actually, oh, this package was actually combined. And why is that strange? Well, I ordered it from different sellers. Usually when you order it from the same seller, oh wow, yeah, it's combined. As I said, usually when you order it from the same seller, the it, it goes into one package. But this time they, they just, uh, yeah, put this inside the package. So let me mark off my address and I'll be back. Now I'm wondering where they got the switching power supply from since it isn't written on the package anywhere on one of the packages that are inside here. Well maybe it's written in Chinese um, but it does no the characters don't look the same to me. So well we've got three to open. It went from one to three which is quite an upgrade. Oh, by the way, this all happened for free. So I didn't have to pay extra. Fuses. Now, these are two amp fuses. Resettable fuses. And, oh wow. Dual inline package. Yeah, there are dual in line, but it's not like an IC dip package. So I'm not sure if this, this, uh, this is the correct package naming, but okay. But yeah, two amp fuses, resettable fuses. They will uh, stop conducting when they get too hot, which is uh, for an upcoming project I'm working on. But due to GLC PCB, it has got some delay. Yeah, am I going to? Yeah, screw it. DC jacks and most importantly also these barrel plugs that actually go into the DC jack. This is also for a project that's upcoming. Um, and yeah, I ran out of stock of these things real quick. So that's why I ordered them. But let me put them back in its back again. I will sort them into the barrels and the plugs later on since that's a little bit easier when storing those. So the last of the three. My knife is getting a little bit blunt. This is one of those 100 to 240 volts AC to 3.3 volts DC power supply. It's capable of well around three watts. 
so this is also for a upcoming project that I'll be sharing with you on my channel. So as I said, stay tuned on, uh, on my channel, stay updated and so you won't miss a thing. So on to the next one, well since this is all over the place, this is a Dutch website, Encom, not sure what it stands for but let's remove the other bill. That. There you go. So, yeah, I think you might already know what's in here. Now, this is for a project that won't be on the channel, or maybe the unboxing uh, of the other thing of this project, but it, it won't be a uh, content on the channel besides the unboxing. With the, the neighborhood, uh, we decided to uh, redo the uh, back path that's going in between the houses. And one of the points was we need uh, good lighting. Since there isn't any proper lighting uh, right now. So I ordered a infrared solar LED that triggers uh, at night uh, when somebody or something walks past it. It comes with two 18650 batteries with a capacity of well, I think 1200 milliamps um, and since those lights will also be working throughout the winter and won't get a lot of sunlight uh, I wanted to upgrade the batteries and these are 200 uh, 2950 milliamp hour batteries uh, so there are 12 2 per lamp that gives a total of 6 lamps and uh, these are LG well you can have a look yourself get the lighting correct so these, these batteries don't have a lot of current capabilities I think only 3.5 amps but that's fine because that LED isn't probably even drawing an amp, let alone three and a half amps, and it won't get charged with three and a half amps either. So this is really, well, these are really high capacity storage batteries. These things are exactly what I need for the for the project. So I will balance them out. I will actually uh, match them uh, according to their capacity, since these were. Uh, B grade batteries, uh, meaning that they're not as good uh, of a match to one another as A grade batteries. So, need to do some extra work on there. But yeah, they're all pretty cheap. I think there were 2 euros and 19 cents per battery, so that's pretty cheap. So, on to the next one, and this came with the DHL. It doesn't show what's inside this thing but I do know what's inside this thing and I was looking forward a lot to it oh jeez it's huge I wasn't expecting it to be this big this is a solid state relay and I'm also going to use for one of my upcoming videos and this feels really cold which is well, a good sign let me get my uh, screwdriver set and we'll take this thing apart. I saw a couple of videos on the internet uh, stating that some of these modules um, might actually be fakes. Uh, now they're obviously Yota and not sure what the real brand is of these uh, solid state relays. But it's not Yota, that's for sure. Um, and it shouldn't matter too much. But the main thing that you need to actually take a look at is if the uh, triac, since it's just a regular triac that's inside here, is actually connected to the heatsink. 
which it is as you are able to see right there it is connected now there's not a lot of potting in here I was actually expecting yeah oh well when you screw it on like this the terminals get pulled up I was expecting something to be in between here since there are some things on this side as well and if it goes down or goes like this then it touches so let's not do that too much since that will probably ruin the thing so well yeah this looks kind of all right yeah it doesn't look too bad there were a few examples of these things uh, where the, the trike wasn't even connected to the back plate and yeah that would of course cause the thing to overheat now let's take a quick look again at the traces yeah the traces are quite thick I think a little bit of solder could be added over here let's let's check it out remove the screw yeah and they didn't yeah let's do that let's actually add a little bit of extra solder to those traces yeah i also decided to remove the solder paste that's currently on here since i want to replace it with a well, i'm assuming higher quality solder paste Not sure which solar paste is currently on here, but I can only imagine that it's the most cheapest one that's available. I was expecting the the flat piece to line up with the end of the plastic casing and then it will pull the, itself up, but that's not the case. No pun intended these holes are bigger than these ones so you can't flip around the control circuitry and the real ac input and output that's good that's really good and i also think they did a kind of a a water seal or something maybe i'm going to to actually put some glue over there to really make sure that it would actually hold now I've chosen the highest temperature that my soldering iron is able to go to since this will require a lot of thermal mass so yeah, over here is Something that could be a lot better. Now it's rated for 25 amps. Now I'm not going to put 25 amps through this thing. That's for sure. But a little bit of extra solder won't hurt. like so that's uh, looking a lot better now i'm actually going to hot glue it in place now, i really don't want this thing to go flapping around in the breeze that's unacceptable so yeah i'll come back to you once this thing has heated up so i think that it's hot enough by now so let's glue it in place Now, of course, hot glue isn't conductive, so this is perfectly fine to do. And this will really make sure that the board is not going to wiggle around in the case. 
since sometimes a lot of strength gets gets uh, yeah, made on the board whilst tightening the screw terminals. Let's get some thermal compound. Now I'm actually going to use Noctua NTH1 since that is what I've got left. So put a drop of thermal compound on there and flip this thing, put it on here and it should line up with the screw and uh, this is a little bit harder than I initially thought it would be there you go so this is fixed the board is being held in place and won't go around we can add this thing so this is the yeah it's labeled of course output input and this clips back on and we can now install the oh are these bigger as well yes they are even those things are bigger for the output side so as i said it's rated for 25 amps now i don't think that i'll be actually using the full 25 amps for the project since it's just a uh, it's not a small project it's quite a useful project as well and you're able to drive it with well I am hoping it will also do DC and not only AC and of course they provided a which is rather nice a plastic cover for the whole thing so but I was not expecting it to be this big I mean if you compare it to the batteries for example it's quite big so oh hey hello uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here well if you want you can also view two other videos of me so make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos